Hi, I'm here with Chloe, and Chloe had VBT surgery, vertebral body tethering surgery, and in a video that I've done in the past, we talk about what vertebral body tethering is, but I want to talk today about doing Schroth method exercises after VBT surgery, because they can complement each other. VBT is trying to correct for the curve. If we add Schroth method exercises onto it, we have an additive benefit of doing both of those. Chloe has had a, a crazy benefit from VBT surgery, just an amazing result with her curve going from 56 to 10 degrees. So as we do some of these exercises, you might not see what we'd normally see with a scoliosis curve with someone that has a bigger curve than 10 degrees. But just know that Chloe's not just faking, she does have scoliosis, or eventually maybe we won't even say she has scoliosis because it goes less than 10 degrees, I don't know. So we're gonna do two exercises of the Schroth method. We're gonna do semi-hang. I wanna show you a couple of things with that. And then we'll do a sitting correction. So Chloe, grab onto this bar here. Okay. Put your feet under the bottom bar and apart just a little bit. And then drop your hips back and hang down. So one thing with VBT, we have, Chloe has some scars on her right side from the surgery. And sometimes after surgery, those are kind of sensitive. So as they're hanging down in this position, those go right through the lats. So sometimes that stretch on where those scars are can be sensitive. So be, be mindful of that. But we're just trying to elongate the spine. How are your hands doing? Good. Yeah? Chloe's a cheerleader, so she should be able to hang on forever. And then we're breathing and we're expanding. Chloe had her right lung deflated when they did the VBT surgery. So trying to expand into that, those ribs is helpful. Go ahead and stand back up. To get more expansion out of the lungs and to fill up those lungs. And really it helps in recovery with that too. Uh, I think Chloe's fully recovered from that lung-wise, right? You don't get short of breath or anything. But it's still a good thing to get that expansion. There's still some scar tissue on that side. So let's go one more time. So dropping down, letting the pelvis go down. So Chloe's curve before was a curve that went to the right. And so we're expanding with breathing, opening through the ribs. We're letting the pelvis go down. And if she still had a significant right curve and she still has a little prominence, are your hands okay? Yeah. There was... <laughs> and then we're expanding into the left side. Go ahead and expand there. So we're opening that up, trying to open the concave side of the curve. So go ahead and stand up. So that's with semi-hang, and there's no problem in doing that after VBT surgery, after you've recovered and you don't have restrictions, uh, and we see an additive benefit. So let's do, hang out there, let me grab this. So go ahead and sit there, face those bars. So now it's sitting. So a sitting correction. Let's scoot forward a little bit. Okay. There you go. So for this one, I want you to put your hands on your shoulders. And so with this, picture her having a right thoracic curve. And we're still correcting the pelvis. We're still elongating the spine. We're still doing everything that we'd normally be doing with Schroff method exercises and we're expanding into the left concavity. And we're still being mindful of where those scars are in case they're sensitive, in case the lats are sensitive. But there's no problem in doing derotation. There's no problem in doing expansion. We're not putting more strain on the tethers because the tethers actually are probably going a little on slack as we go into that correction. Um, and there's no no problem with doing any of that. We have that additive benefit and we should get a better result. Okay, relax. As we do Schroth method exercises, which have been shown to be helpful, and VBT, which I mean on Chloe has been magic. It's been pretty amazing. So thanks for watching. Thanks Chloe for being my model today on VBT. And uh, if you have any other questions on VBT, check out our other videos. Thanks.